Hey guys, Daily Tech here, bringing you another 60 second fix for your VR setup using the PS Move service. Now in this video, we'll give you a few tips to troubleshoot why your controllers might be jumping around or being all jittery either in game or in the config tool. Now the two biggest culprits are gonna be USB bandwidth or just a bad calibration in general. Now I'll show you a few things that you can do to diagnose and to fix what's going on with your controllers. Open up the config tool and go to your tracker pose calibration. Select controller zero, then hold the controller out in the middle of the room in view of all the cameras and let it compute the first calibration spot. You should see all the trackers take the readings. If that works, hit cancel, then do the second controller, then the third. If all trackers took readings on all controllers, then the calibration should be good. Second thing you'll need to do is check your USB bandwidth. First thing you could do is rerun the post calibration with only two cameras connected to your PC and see if that fixes it. If so, then it's a USB bandwidth issue and you'll need to even the load across your USB root hubs. To do this, you'll need to install USB View from Microsoft. Click on the link in the description below and download the standalone SDK. Once that's done, just run the download and uncheck everything except for the debugging tools for Windows. Now open up USB View. This can be found in Program Files x86, Windows Kits 10, Debuggers x64, then double click USB View EXE. Now take a look on the left side. You'll want to find your USB composite devices. Now this is a general catch-all name for all common devices, so you'll need to click on each one, then check on the right side to see what it is. You'll be looking for Omnivision Technologies and USB Camera B4. This is the PSI camera. Now make absolutely sure you don't have any more than two of these on any given hub at the upper level. Also, make sure your Bluetooth adapter isn't paired up with two of the cameras either. So now just switch the cameras around on different USB ports until you manage to spread the load out a bit more evenly. Well, hopefully this video got it solved for you or at least got you going in the right direction. I know it can be pretty frustrating to try to deal with this, but once you do have it fixed, you shouldn't need to worry about it at all again. Now if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, make sure to throw it a like and also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.